all my stamping and box making friends. This is Angie at Stampin' with the More. And today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little um, box here. I'm using crumb cake for this. And you can see it's kind of tall and narrow, but I thought this would be really cute to stick like a couple of post-it notes in a pen and pencil or something like that. You can even put treats in it, a little gift, whatever you like. But um, I'm using crumb cake with this, and I've actually used four different stamp sets, um, really only one for the major stamping, but um, I just added you know a little bit of this these are the petite petals and just wanted to add that kind of flower power <laughs> I know I'm giving away my age but this 70s was awesome but any, anyway this was kind of inspired by that and this time um, I'm going to show you on whisper white and I'm going to use um, Pacific Point ink I'm just going to show you that there, there's different variations to it so you can just do it what however you like but um, I thought that really came out cute. And um, this little bow, I love this new ribbon. And it comes in several different co colors. I know you all know by now that I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you don't have a demonstrator, I would really appreciate your business. Um, you can go to stampingwiththemorai.com, as you know, if you follow me to order any products. I'm going to start just showing you this diagram. Because um, for some people, it is easier to see the diagram and um, so I'm going to do it this way and just show you and then I'm going to show you on a piece of whisper white um, where to cut and score and everything so we'll do it like I normally do so the first thing you do you need a ten and a half by seven and a half piece of cardstock and I'm using whisper white so on this one on this um, long side you're just going to score it two inches and nine and a half inches and then you're going to turn it to the short side and you're going to score it two and a half three and a half six and seven and then I'm just showing you where you can cut your we're going to cut all that section out and then we're going to cut this little tiny section here out and we will cut up on each one of these score lines these this is the bottom flaps so let's go ahead and do that. I'll grab my Stampin' Up! trimmer and scoring tool. On this long side, we're going to score it at two. And again, this is ten and a half by seven and a half. So we're going to score it at two inches and then nine and a half. And then we're going to turn it, and on the short side, we're going to score it at two and a half. Three and a half, six, and seven. Okay, so that's the scoring that we're going to do. And then the next thing we're going to do is let me go ahead and fold on these score marks like I normally do. It's just easier for you to see, I think, and easier for me to cut. So we'll just, you can see this is a shorter side and then this is the wider. So let's go ahead and just cut this little square off right here, this little corner down at the bottom. This is where we're going to cut. So we're going to cut that off. And while we're down here, let's just go ahead and cut up on our score marks to that first score mark there. And we'll create our flaps. Okay, and so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the, this section out here. And you're cutting out, let's see... You're going to cut out one, two, three, four little four sections right there, and you're just going to leave this one flap. This is the top flap. So that's it. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stamp this 
little piece of cardstock and I'm using these four stamp sets. This is the main one we're using. It's Peace, Love, and Cupcakes. And the reason I made this box is because I wanted to use this peace sign so bad. I love that peace sign. It just reminds me of my teenage years, I guess. <laughs> and then this is in many more. And this is the my go-to set right now. I mean, look at all the sentiments it has. And then I am using the Petite Petals. And then the last one, I'm actually just using this little heart off of this Something for Baby. So those are the four stamp sets. And so I'm going to grab my Pacific Point ink. And then um, this is the peace sign that I so love. And then I'm just going to stamp it randomly. I love this Pacific Point. It's so pretty. Okay, and then the next stamp set that I'm going to use is this piece. Um, this is also from the same set. Isn't it cute? It reminds me so much of the 70s. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but... <laughs> It's so cute. I don't know if any of you are were grew up in that time, but it was a fun time. But I think it's actually come back some. I, I see my grandkids with peace signs and all that. So, okay, and then the next one I'm using is Friends. This is also from the same set. And you can, I'm just stamping uh, randomly and stamping it off the page also because it just gives it a more like professional type look to it. And the last one is going to be this love. I didn't put it on a and I did this one in red on the crumb cake because I don't know love red I guess but I'm just going to do it the same. Okay I think that's enough. And then we're going to go ahead and put it together. So let me grab some sticky strip. And I'm going to go ahead and use the sticky strip on here. I know it usually takes more time, but I'm going to use it anyway. I'm finding that I'm using some of my boxes for some friends and some of my kid, my friends' kids and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and... I don't want them falling apart, so I'm going to go ahead and... And then you just bring this around to meet it, line it up. Make sure you line this up good when you're using sticky strip, because you know that once you stick it with a sticky strip, it does not want to come apart, and you will ruin your box. So that's it, and then on the bottom... Remember, always put your front flap back, which I didn't do on my last box. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I got it sealed up, and then I thought, oh, I did it the wrong way. So let me grab another piece of sticky strip. I just love the size of this box, and I like that it's taller, and it's not like my usual ones. They're kind of fat and more square, but I, I really wanted to do something a little bit different. Sometimes I can't get this to come off either. Okay. Oh, and I put it on the wrong side again, so I'm just going to stick that side up and I'll stick some um, snail on this side. Okay, so that's it. I need to round my corners first. I don't want to forget with my cute little corner rounder. And then just squeeze in these sides. And then we're going to just flip that over. The regular hole punch, because that ribbon's thick, and so I want to use this regular one. And I just push it to the very end and then punch through and try to just do it evenly. So that's that. And let me grab the ribbon. 
And this ribbon, I just cut it, this is like 12 inches. You probably don't even need 12 inches. And I've, I've got a little tip for you. If you make a corner on here, it goes through the hole so much easier. And this is Pacific Point, the striped the, uh, ribbon. Isn't that cute? I love this ribbon. And see how easy it goes when you have a point. And I'm just tying a regular knot in it this time. You probably don't need 12 inches now that I look at it. Probably can get away with like 10. And I'm not going to fool with the knot. You can get it to look really pretty. But you probably don't even need um, 10 inches of ribbon because I'm about to cut like 2 inches. Well, maybe, maybe 10. This will give you enough room to play with. Cut this a little bit. I like to get it really straight, but we will fool with that later. And I'm going to bring in some, get some Whisper White cardstock. And we're going to stamp our flowers. And this is the petite petal. And I'm going to go ahead and use Pacific Point again. These, I love this set. The flowers are so pretty. Let's see. Three. I think I'm going to do three. I did four on the other one. Let's go ahead and do another one. And then this is the this uh, punch that matches, it coordinates. And you know how much I love that. They are so easy. Punch them out instead of having, I remember the days we were always cutting them out. And it's so time consuming. This makes it such a quick and easy project. Okay, and while I have the ink out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the my friend, the little tag. And then I'm going to use this little tiny heart. And then I'm using the Modern Label Punch to punch the little tag out. I'll grab some glue dots. And I like to kind of like just curl these up with my fingers a little bit so that I can, they look more three-dimensional. Let's see, let's put one there. There's nothing in this box, so it's kind of collapsing. And let's see, one, let's do it there. And I guess one more. You can put as many as you like on there. I'll do it right there. Now we'll add the sentiment, and I'll just use another glue dot and stick it under here. And there you have it. That's all of it. I mean, it's easy. Look how cute it is. I like this one too. And here's the other one. I mean, you can use whatever colors you want. We have so many different colors. The ribbon really, really um, makes this project really cute, too. And, of course, the peace sign. That's awesome. So, anyway, that's the project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you need any product, go to stampingwithamore.com. And you can shop right from my blog. I always post what the video and... Um, pictures and everything also on my blog 
So, um, yeah, just go visit my blog and see all the goodies that are on there. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a blessed day. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye.